easel. Uh, as you can see, the theme for this episode is lines. I've talked about this before on the program, how cartoonists uh, use lines to indicate movement and maybe for other reasons, as you'll see as we proceed. Years ago, I don't know just how many, there were cartoon characters and cartoon comic strips especially, who, when they were peering at something, looking at something very intently, well, watch this, I'll show you. I'm, what I'm showing you here is a bird watcher. I don't know if any of you are bird watchers or not. Bird watchers. And this is supposed to be a magnifying glass, kind of like a detective would have. And the line I'm talking about, well, to indicate this stare, they used to a lot of cartoons would have little dashes like that. In this case, he's, as you might guess, he's trying to identify a bird. This bird is kind of looking back, wondering what's going on. And if somebody's a little puzzled and doesn't understand what the heck's going on, they might have a little question mark inside a balloon. Uh, this bird is on a low, a low branch and the bird watcher is trying to figure out what kind of critter he is. And so, I recall that one particular comic strip was about two fellows that were good buddies, Mutt and Jeff, and quite often they showed the uh, dotted line, not just because, not just in a microphone, magnifying glass, but just somebody peering intently at some object or person or critter. More familiar, particularly uh, to the modern period or speed lines, and I've demonstrated these in previous programs. Now here's a, here's a fast running critter. A rabbit, of course, in real life, you don't see rabbits running with just, with just their back feet. But in any case, obviously it's supposed to be moving, so we show these lines and sometimes even dust. Speed lines. The next one is a, a little different indication of uh, movement. Incidentally, that first one doesn't indicate movement, it, but it it is a, an example of uh, lines in cartoons. This next one doesn't involve a a person or a bird or a rabbit. It's an old rattle trap of a car. 
You can tell it's old because it's got the headlight there up on the fender. And it just looks kind of beat up. Uh, pickup truck and <laughs> Benz and incidentally, when cartoonists show something like this, they'll oftentimes show screws and parts falling out of it. I won't bother with that. But if it's going over a bumpy road like this, this is the, the road and it's pretty bumpy. Can't see the dude in there very well, but he's had this old boogie for a long time. Anyway, here's the, these lines indicate that it's really a rattle trap. Of course, any car might bounce around a little bit road on roads like this one. Well, uh, oftentimes I draw people who are scared of something. Well, is it? There's a guy who is looking up at the sky. I won't draw it because it's too high up, but he sees a, a, a huge seagull flying toward him. <laughs> and of course, he's scared, and the lines I want to emphasize are, are these where his hat flies off his head and you have the perspiration. So you need lines to show this improbable uh, result here. But in real life, you can be very, very scared and still keep your hat on. But this is not real life, this is a fantasy land of cartoon critters. Well, this is a different kind of line I'm going to show you now. It's a young fella been out playing ball with his buddies and he comes into the, the house. Well, I'll show you now. He's been playing ball and he smells something wonderful, an aroma from the kitchen and he knows mom is in there making a cake or something. Now the little wavy lines are often used to indicate a, a pleasant smell, pleasant aroma. And so he's looking forward to getting in on the goodies. Now home entertainment can get out of the house. Introducing Conway Corp TV, streaming entertainment with cloud DVR, live sports, local TV, and much more. It's perfect for rom-coms on the couch, adventures in the backyard, and binging over lunch. So whether you're in your bedroom, on your phone, or on the go, it all feels like home. Conway Corp TV, available only from Conway Corp. Uh, certain lines are used in winter scenes in cartoons. The guy's waiting for a bus or something. And he's really cold. You notice that we often assume a pose like this when we're really cold. And here are the lines I was talking about. That indicates you're, you're shivering. Not only that, but his breath is kind of getting vaporized. And if I had room, I'd depict a, a snowy scene to emphasize the cold weather that this guy's out in. 
Uh, and the little boy smelling the good aroma. Well, here's a different kind of smell. Even with the lid on, the garbage, the garbage can may emit or put forth this scent, which is obnoxious to most of us, but an alley cat is not disgusted. Uh, he's thinking about ways to get in, get into the thing. Uh, having to depend on something other than cat food in a can and another in a smaller can. <laughs> Okay, this next one involves a, a, a person who just had what we call a bright idea, or at least he thinks it is. Now we could have him saying, hey, I just got a good idea, but if we didn't want to bother with that, we would have him thinking like this, and there would be a light bulb, and these lines are very, very small, but they indicate that that is a bright, supposed to be a bright light, and that this represents his idea. And whether it turns out well or not is another question. And finally, very simple thing. A little kid still in his pajamas. On Christmas morning, he comes into the living room. He gets a gets a glimpse of gets a good look at all the things under the tree, and he's obviously happy. But just in case you didn't know that, these lines represent wow. This is a great Christmas. Well, let's put a little color on some of these. Using a red crayon to indicate flesh color. It's not precisely flesh color, but it's pretty close. And down here, I'm Ex accentuate the, the red a little bit because, you know, when you're out in the cold, you might be kind of red in the face. And you might be more pale than, than red or pink. And uh, I won't take time to color all of these, but I'll put a little color here and there. My rabbit. And the old beat up truck is shade of blue. It is going over a country road and dirt and rocks and everything like that. So that's it for this episode of Mr. Foy's Hazel. Uh, tune in again and we'll explore the various aspects of cartooning in the old days and in the new days. <laughs>